We break down and react to the 40th anniversary Mattel Press and Influencer Day reveals, and the future is still looking bright for the Masters of the Universe. And before we dive into the news, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest news reviews and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits News. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime, Larry. Now, before we dive into the reveals, apologies again on my part. I am out doing my civic duty this week and it had me away from home, but it's great to finally catch up and talk about this stuff with Larry because there were so many great reveals for Origins and Masterverse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like these toy companies have like a uh, like a an inside look into our our schedules and they're like, OK, right. one of them is out. So let's just announce a bunch of stuff this week. Yeah, it's like yeah, I had a work event previously when all this all the stuff went down uh, last week and, and this week, too. So, yeah, it's I think I think they have my number. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. And before we get into it further, I just wanted to say thank you to Pixel Dan, Planet Eternia, and Super the Superhero Hype website for just providing some amazing coverage of the event. So all the photos that we're using in this video come from those sources because we were not at the event. Yep. Yeah, I got to give credit where credit's due, right? Of course. Yeah, it, it was cool. So the there was a bunch of influencers that were invited down to Mattel's headquarters, and they basically laid out a bunch of new stuff from Origins, Masterverse, Masters of the Universe Revelation, and Mattel Creations. Yeah, a ton of new stuff. This is kind of like uh, PowerCon without PowerCon. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's hilarious. I totally that that was the first thing that came to my head with all these reveals. That's funny. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a weird kind of way to disseminate information, but um, I don't know. They're trying a lot of different stuff, so we'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yes, and I guess it's it's the information that we really care about. So let's kick yeah. things off with Masterverse, and we saw package shots of Roboto, and also too bad and now so larry i'm gonna ask you does this package shot of Roboto's head look any better to you um yeah i, I mean i think i think it looks better but but again it's it's the, it's an angle yeah. you know and and i think i still think that it's it's going to be really hard to put po you know position him on a on a shelf unless you're just looking at him straight on like this or from slightly above um where that you're not going to see that kind of that long neck because the head is just so you know, so short. Yeah. So, but. yeah. But yeah, I, I think he looks great. And we also got yep. confirmation that Too Bad is a new Eternia figure. Yeah. Yeah. He looked cool. Looks huge in the box window yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the box that Beastman came in, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And uh, he's going to be a, a super cool figure. He's going to look great on the on the shelf. Oh, he will. And some of the other things that were at the event were the movie figures. And so we got to see actual photos of a produced in-box movie He-Man and there's a new logo on the box and we also get a new He-Man head too. I don't know what I think of the head. I, I, it's, I think it's one you're gonna have to wait to, to see in hand pictures yeah. of. It doesn't look great in, in these pictures, but, uh, I never do. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, I have to reserve, um, final judgment for actually seeing it in person or, or seeing, uh, you know, just more pictures of it, I guess. Yeah. I'm excited about these ones because I, I had the movie figures in classics and then sold them. And of course I regretted that. And so it's, it's actually good to get some form of the figure back. So I'm not going to buy any classics figures. I'm just going to wait and see what Masterverse has to hold. And looks like they are not disappointing. Um, you know, I, I think classics definitely has its, its, um, its place as far as in, in the kind of the Motu, you know, toy line collections, but, um, and I, and I love the line, but I do think that, um, kind of for where we are price wise, as far as the, the classics figures, I think Masterverse has become a, a really good alternative. Yeah, most definitely. And we also got a shot of Skeletor in box and he looks great. And the thing that I'm really excited about is that cosmic key. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. I, I like that they've uh, that they've you know got the kind of the window display area to to really show it off, and um, he looks great. Yeah, he looks great. Still don't know why this is a deluxe figure, kind of like Shira and Hordak. It's like they they could have fit him in the box that Too Bad and Beastman are coming in, and still did did just fine. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, you know, maybe some of it's just uh, trying to get a little bit of extra room for, like, the staff and being able to make sure you can see the accessories. And yeah. you got to have some figures that are deluxe. Um, maybe there's a little bit of extra tooling cost for, for some of these. And so that's they've got to, yeah. you know, get the get the money back somehow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot of details on the Skeletor. So, yeah, he, he looks great. And we also saw the back of the boxes and, you know, you kind of join them together and it kind of creates one scene, which is cool. It is cool, but once again, man, where are the posters? Right. <laughs> you know, miss, that, that right? would make that would make for a cool a cool like poster. You think about like old magazines and stuff that came with like the fold out posters and things yeah. and um I really wish they would start doing some stuff like that, but Yeah. Yeah, me too, but yeah, we'll we'll have to stick to the box art for now and until they get their act together on that part. So let's dive into the new stuff and start with uh, still continuing with the Masterverse line, the new adventure Skeletor, who's coming out the fall of 2023, and this will be a Target exclusive like the new adventures He-Man. Yeah, what what's up with this pose? Like, <laughs> couldn't they couldn't they fix him? He's standing all like yeah, no. goofy. I don't know what's wrong with the pose, but uh, the figure looks cool. But um, yeah, I wish they kind of would have uh, made him stand up a little bit better. Yeah, it, it's interesting because the the classics figure was a lot more chunky and bulky, and it felt it felt like the accessories kind of made the body look a little bit more fuller. So. You know, it's he he has a, a helmet that's kind of formed around his head, which you can take off, which is great. Uh, but he looks a little thin to me. He does. Yeah, he looks kind of emaciated a little bit like yeah. he was maybe his uh, spaceship was, uh, you know, stranded for a while and he didn't have any food. Yeah. Um, that's funny. And I think part of it, too, is the cape. The cape looks kind of maybe a little bit too short or mm -hmm. too like it, ne it needs more more bulk to it or something yeah, to kind so of. Uh, you know, make give it a little more presence. Yeah, it's not as grand, and I, I love that you're calling a, skele a skeleton Skeletor emaciated. So I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's. But what what else are you gonna say? You know, he just he just looks a little a little uh, a little hungry. <laughs> yeah, but hey, this is the first time we're seeing Skeletor with hair. I think so. It's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it, he kind of looks like the Joker. So I wonder if they're you know that Mark Hamill tie-in oh, is maybe. kind of. Uh, kind of extending on into different things now <laughs> that's funny um yeah he looks great uh, i i'm excited i hope they actually make more new adventures figures for this line because i think they look great like you could mm -hmm. they they made a, a lot in classics and i think there's still more to make because they didn't make everything in the line oh yeah there's yeah there's a ton of things that that remain and um yeah a lot a lot of uh cool characters cool figure concepts so yes and another figure that i'm very excited about and i think we actually hit this one on the head last year with our uh, predictions was the uh, man at arms who I guess the disgraced man at arms if you want to call him that yeah yeah kicked out of the castle man at arms yes probably a little wordy but <laughs> couldn't, couldn't fit it on the box <laughs> yeah <laughs> wait another opportunity for deluxe figure right oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no he, he looks cool I mean I think um you know to me all aspects of this look cool he looks good without the cloak yeah. with the cloak um He's got basically all the stuff for two figures again. So oh no, um, that's right. It's another awesome release. Yeah, he's got he's got a ton of stuff, and this is actually what a deluxe figure should be. So like this should be the model. It's got armor. It's got huge weapons. Another head, a cloak. I mean, it's got everything. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's literally two two figures. It's it's almost one of those where if you could just buy another just another buck you could just make two figures out of it you know yep. like just throw in another body for ten dollars more or something <laughs> yeah i think that's what they're banking on and you know I, yeah. i'll definitely get two of these like I, i'm trying to cut down on that but you know me <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's probably not gonna happen right right he it's funny because he 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 looks like he's got like some like some cargo pants on, like khakis or something, you know, yeah. like he's like they're kind of like dress slacks. He's he's just, he's uh, well dressed in hiding. He is. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like the belt with the pouch and stuff. It looks cool. Yeah. It, it's actually nice to see an, an in-person shot of this figure because we also got the official images. And I feel like a lot of these official images are retouched and they're just they look a lot brighter. And sometimes I'm fooled by the paint on them because some of the paint looks metallic on these figures when they're touched up so much. But when you actually look at the figure in person, it really doesn't have those paint apps to it. 
Yeah, and it's it's weird. It's it, it's a mix to me because like uh, for me, the new adventure Skeletor looked better in in the production in the pictures that they sent. Yep. Versus the actual you know displayed figure, whereas this one's the opposite. You know, yeah. the, the displayed figure looks a lot better than these than these <laughs> pictures do. So. Yeah. So. All right, well, that does it for Masterverse, and let's move on to Origins. And we saw an in-package shot of Mechanek and the Ground Ripper, and, you know, of course, Mattel lost its license for the Road Ripper, so there we go. We have the Ground Ripper. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I guess, you know, like, Mattel losing it doesn't affect us, so we could continue to call it the Road Ripper if we want, but that's true. Um, I guess just to, to be accurate and so that, uh, you know, people don't feel the need to correct we probably should go with ground ripper <laughs> no i yeah I, it, this one's a toss-up because you know everybody everybody this this one is is the road ripper but um it, yeah it, it's cool to see an inbox shot uh, of this one and I think, hallelujah finally we're getting moss man walmart dis- exclusive deluxe figure it's flocked it's going to smell like pine and this is we can cross one figure off the list that we will not be hearing about in the comments you know, I I, th- I feel like we're still going to hear about him, though, because he's a freaking Walmart exclusive true. and he's going to be a pain in the butt to <laughs> try to get a hold of. Um, I, even if it's even if it's from people buying him up to sell him for three dollars profit, you know? Yeah. Um, I, he, he looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I think the extra head is cool. I just it, it's not flocked, though, right? It doesn't look like it. No. Do you think it's going to be cuz it, to me it's going to look a little out of place if it's not flocked putting it on the on the flocked body but maybe it's let's see let's, um yeah you're right it it actually is not flocked but i think it looks okay it, lo- it looks all right i mean it's got some it's got some detail with the beard and stuff but yeah i think that sh- they actually should have they should have flocked that one so yeah i, yeah, I it's, agree it's just a it's just a little odd i mean i don't it doesn't bother me that much just um a little bit of an odd choice you know, to, to go with the, you know, non flocked extra head, but it, yeah. it looks cool. And the fact that they, they've got the extra uh, weapons pack armor set in there is awesome. Oh, I love that they're doing that. So yeah, you could, you could stick it on beast man. You could stick it on moss man. And funny thing too, like, you know, I guess uh, we're in the vintage line. Moss man came with that mace, but he's, <laughs> they're reusing pig heads weapon here too. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's a cool reuse of it. Um, it gives him an extra, um, an extra, you know, thing to fight with. So it, it's cool. Yes, I like it. And yeah, this this should be a, a really, really cool figure. And uh, next up is a figure called the Frogmonger. And this is a character that comes from one of the creatures from the Castle Grayskull Dungeon Gate sticker. So Mattel has been sprinkling him on several packaged artwork throughout the Origins line. And we actually finally get to see him in the flesh. Yeah, and he, and he's cool. I I think he's just he's such an oddball figure. Really cool colors. Awesome concept of of pulling somebody out of that uh, out of that ca- Castle Grayskull um, dungeon. And I I I really like when they do this kind of stuff. And I, Pixel Dan's comments were were right on with this one as far as this is what a an exclusive should be. It's yes. an off the wall character, not not a mainline you know, character that, that everybody's going to want. I mean, people still want it, but it, but it, it's just a, it's just an extra thing. And uh, that's what an exclusive should be. Oh, most definitely that, that was the first thing. Like the first thought that came to my mind was, wow, cool. How weird. But then like, yeah, again, this is exactly what Mattel creation should be. They should not be making standard release figures that you could get in the main line at the big box stores just for some money grabs. Let's make some of these cool figures to go along with Coldar. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm all for that. I think that that's, that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I know that, uh, you know, they've, they've talked about kind of different ways they might handle the, you know, exclusives on there going forward, but, uh, we'll, we'll see how this one works out. But I, yeah, I think it's, it's a really cool, really cool figure. Yeah. It, it's cool because also the card art too, kind of brings to life all those beasts and creatures in, in that dungeon too. So it's actually it's it's really cool and i don't know if that's a skeleton warrior that's just kind of held out down there but you know again you know it sounded like we're getting skeleton warriors at some point uh down the line we didn't see them in this presentation but they're there on the card art again yeah i'm excited to see those but uh yeah i don't i don't know I'm, i don't know how they would release that tentacle looking thing yeah um but 
it, it looks, you know, all this stuff would be cool to see his figure. So. Oh, it totally would. And another off the wall figure that I had no idea about was this figure called the He Skeletor. And I guess this is the anti Eternia He Man is the villain. And so now we have the hero, which is He Skeletor, which is in anti Eternia is actually Keldor with the power of He Man. Yeah, and I think um, originally what the, the Pixel Dan was talking about this being like from the uh, from the maybe some of the old German yep. um, stories, but then but then later um, realized it was actually from the the more recent uh, is it Mike Seeley comics or something? Yeah, there I think he appears in both places. Yeah, and first appeared in those German audio plays. So you know, again, it's a it's a repaint of He Man. It's kind of like the shattered glass universe of Transformers, just kind of merging with Masters of the Universe. It is even some of the colorings kind of kind of similar, and he he looks cool. I mean, he's he's different. Um, I always have a hard time with these guys on the shelf because I've got to figure out you know kind of where they fit in. But I think he'll look cool next to Anti Eternia He Man. So oh yeah, they could, it'd be neat to just have them fighting with each other. Yeah, yep, definitely. <laughs> <It'd> be so <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But all right, we have a backer update on Eternia. So I just took the screenshot not too long ago and we have this thing funded at 65% now and it's only been what a day and a half. I don't know. I don't know what I think of this. I, I, I you know, it's, it seems like it's, I, I guess I got in there this afternoon and, and thought, well, it's, it's probably going to be funded. It's closer, but I don't know if it's going as fast as I thought it was going to. Yeah, I, I didn't either. And um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that it's getting a lot of traction on, on its first day and a half. And um, I guess from this presentation, we got to see some cool schematics. And I think what Pixel Dan and others were, were saying too, to, to conserve display space, the towers can be separated and the monorail can basically go in a circular fig configuration around that central tower. So if you need to save some room and showcase those individually, it gives you the option, which is nice. Yeah, that is. I think they're, you know, at least they're making some, um, you know, some cool design choices with it. So you can, you know, have different display options because they know it's huge and um, not everybody's going to have, uh, you know, a three or four foot uh, <laughs> section of a room to display it in. So it's, yeah. it's cool to have that, that option. Yeah. And then another thing that I think was also in Pixel Dan's video, but I think Yotango El Poder just kind of pulled this out of it was... Um, one, I think they were also saying that these this set is actually in scale with the Masterverse figures too, so it kind of plays double duty. Plus, uh, there's some extra parts that could connect to Eternia, like they had planned for the old set of Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull connecting to the two. So instead of a a four foot by three foot four pr footprint, you gotta, you gotta make more room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's gonna it's gonna need a whole room devoted to it by the time they're done, probably. But um, yeah, but yeah, it's it's cool to see that it's you know compatible too with uh, Masterverse. And I know, um, you know, Pixel Dan mentioned that he wasn't sure whether you know maybe some of the um, the trams and things you know whether they would actually fit a Masterverse figure. But it's it's cool that it's um, you know you could display it with Masterverse either way. Yes, and. I think uh, over the last week, we also got info around the stretch goals, which were, were new to us. So I think up until this was revealed, it was just Eternia with King Grayskull. So they announced the exclusive Moat Monster, which you can get at 8,000 backers. And this Moat Monster is an homage to a similar creature that was in an Easter egg uh, in, in the original uh, vintage set. And... Once it reaches 10,000 backers, uh, we can get an exclusive Council of the Wise Men Keklar figure. Yeah, and I don't I don't have a problem with either of those. I think they're cool, cool additions. I don't know. I, it feels like there needs to be like another figure or two. I, it's, it's... Yeah, I, I felt the same. And, you know, I, I, I love that they're including figures. But like, wouldn't you want to have like a huge like Tyrannus, Tyrantosaurus Rex or something accompany this thing if they really want to go all in? Because I was thinking like to, to justify the price and especially the folks overseas have to pay to, like a figure and a half or a figure and a quarter <laughs> is, is not going to do it. <laughs> no, no, it's it's really not. Um I, I don't know. I, I, you know, the other night I was thinking, you know, the, the, uh, a cool stretch goal, um, would be, you know, you know, 10,000 and, and we throw in snake mountain. That's... Yeah. That would be awesome. 
to me, that's that's the stretch goal that this needs, kind of for yeah. me personally. Like at that at that point, I'd be I'd be a little more, uh, you know, struggling a little more with not backing. But <laughs> yeah, all right, Larry for brand manager for Mo Two. That's 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 the new campaign. <laughs> 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 but um, here's a photo from that, you know, shows that moat monster in the vintage set. And I just want to send a big shout out to the toys of time gone by. He's one of our Instagram buddies. And he had let me know that I think a while ago that he had this the vintage set. And I was like, hey, could you take a picture of the moat monster just to see what it looked like? And so it's just carved into that moat in the vintage playset, so you can find him on instagram and on youtube but i think it's a cool little homage to the vintage set it is and and, and it shows that they you know they're really digging deep and and kind of pulling out some some cool stuff for uh for the fans you know stuff that um people will appreciate uh you know seeing in the new lines so yeah and just a little bit more background on that Keklar figure. He is the leader of the elders in the UK comics and is the brother to Eldor. And so, yeah, you can kind of see uh, how he appeared in the comics. And he also appeared in, all, in a red uh, getup, too. So, you know, maybe this could be another maybe single carded Mattel Creations figure down the line, just in a different recolor. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, I'd like to see more of like the council of, you know, all, all the different council characters. I think yeah. that, uh, you know, that'd be a, it'd be a fun, you know, once again, a fun thing to release as exclusives because um, it's maybe not something everybody needs. But uh, but yeah, cool things to add. Yeah, I, I like that they're kind of making these obscure figures for these pack ends for these sets. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually happy to see no mainline figures included with Eternia. So it's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we save the best for last and Mattel knocked out two of the most wanted things that everyone seems to mention no matter what video we post one being moss man which we covered earlier and the last one being snake mountain now this is a prototype pixel dan said that they got this thing the day before the event and they still had some things to rework and to re kind of redo with this thing but i mean it, it looks awesome it does i i wasn't sure if we'd, we'd ever see it yeah. you know i thought that we'd kind of made it to this point and maybe they just really weren't uh you know, planning on making Snake Mountain, but it's it's awesome that it's uh, you know, it's on the way basically, and uh, it looks super cool. Yeah, I actually thought they were gonna save this for like Comic Con 2023 or something, and not you know this time because it's still it's still a long ways out. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it it feels, I I I feel like it should have had like a Comic Con announcement yeah. or. A, you know, like PowerCon or something like that, something with um, a little more fanfare to it because it feels like it's almost like kind of under the radar. And to me, this is a massive announcement that deserved, um, you know, to be presented to the fans in a, in a little bit bigger scale, you know, like where people could kind of gush on it a little bit, mm -hmm. and, you know, express their excitement yeah. more. Yeah, I no, know. and I agree. There's there's a bunch of stuff that's retooled from the vintage one. You know, it doesn't have a working microphone, which is fine. They threw in a bone chair, a jail cell, and this really cool like fold down moat. So they're they're adding yeah. a bunch of stuff to it. Yeah, the, and that that to me is such a cool play feature. That moat having where you can pop those things off and pop like a torso on there, like they're sinking. That's so awesome. It's very um, cool. Yeah, I it just to me, little stuff like that is what, you know, is really making Origins, um, you know, nostalgia aside, it's a really fun line to, to collect and, and just to kind of mess around with. So, oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, here's an, another close up shot of just the, the interior of Snake Mountain. There's that really cool like spider on the wall. too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a really cool set. Yeah, yeah, and I think they also mentioned that that snake is going to get uh, reworked too, and you know you also see that some of that off coloring of, of the floor, and I think they're probably trying to figure out how to work in a trap door in there too. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll see a few little changes to this as we go, but um, looks great so far. Yes, it does, and here's the new stuff coming down the line from that event, and yeah, I mean it's. I think a lot of folks are still saying, you know, the Masters of the Universe line is struggling, but, you know, I think I think they're still hearing that from from one channel. But, you know, like to me, like this does not signal a line that's struggling. I was going to mention that because I've seen so many comments about that related to Eternia, how, um, 
you know, they feel like Origins is kind of like dead in the water. So they're just, you know, like, well, we'll just throw this out there. And um, I, I don't I don't get the feeling at all that Origins is struggling. No, I, I think that distribution isn't good. Um, but I think that's maybe why they've had trouble and, and concerns with doing any kind of retail lines for the last 15 years, because it's it's always this way. It was this way with the 2000 X line. It was a pain in the butt to collect because you had to run around looking for stuff and distribution just wasn't great. Yeah, I, I think, too, like I think people are misreading the tea leaves from these big box stores when this stuff goes on sale because like they're they're not in the business of having stuff sit on the shelf. They have to move product. The way to move product is to discount it. Doesn't mean that the line is going away. That's just how they do business. Yeah, yeah, stuff just sits there and they've got other other things to put out or or newer, you know, newer figures from the same line. So it uh yeah, there's there's a lot of just kind of getting rid of the old stuff. And they're not losing any money for sure. So <laughs> No. <laughs> not at all. And yeah, before we close out, just want to send a special thanks again to uh Planet Eternia Pixel Dan and the superhero hype website for making it possible that we can actually see all this cool stuff. So, I, you know, I think one of my pet peeves is folks not taking really good pictures. And I think, you know, the, these folks know how to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Looks great. Yes. And let us know what you think of the reveals in the comments below. And what are you most looking forward to? I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for tuning into this Toy Habits Not So News Brief. <laughs>